Ever wondered why women lose interest in men that pursue them? A common question that has puzzled many for centuries. It seems counterintuitive, right? You'd think that showing your interest, making your intentions clear, and pursuing with all your might would win a woman's heart. But alas, the human heart is not so simple. The truth is, intense pursuit can often have the opposite effect. It can make you too familiar too soon, and that's where the trouble begins. There's a certain thrill in mystery, a sense of intrigue that keeps us hooked. We are, after all, curious creatures by nature. And when you lay all your cards on the table too quickly, that mystery evaporates. Imagine reading a book where the ending is revealed in the first few pages, or watching a film where the twist is given away in the opening scene. You'd lose interest, wouldn't you? The same principle applies here. When you become too familiar too soon, there's no intrigue left to reel them in, no suspense to keep them guessing, and that's when interest starts to wane. Now let's add another layer to this conundrum, originality, or rather, the lack of it. You see, when you're pursuing someone, you're not the only one. There are others, many others, who are saying the same things, doing the same things, making the same moves, and over time, women become desensitized to these approaches. It's like hearing the same joke over and over again. After a while, it just isn't funny anymore. So what's the solution? How do you strike that perfect balance? How do you maintain that sense of mystery and intrigue while still showing your interest? How do you stand out from the crowd? Well, that's a topic for another time. For now, let's just say that the key lies in balancing scarcity with originality. So the key takeaway here is that familiarity may breed contempt, not attraction. But don't worry, we'll delve deeper into these concepts in our upcoming videos. So stay tuned and remember, love is a game of patience, not pursuit. Now you might ask, what if I'm just being myself? Well, that's where originality comes into play. Many men, in their pursuit of women, fall into a pattern, a rhythm, a certain way of doing things. They rehearse lines, recite compliments, and perform actions that have been performed by countless men before them. But here's the catch. Familiarity breeds contempt. When a woman hears the same lines, the same compliments, and sees the same actions, the impact diminishes. It becomes mundane, monotonous, and the excitement, the thrill of the chase, slowly fades away. This is where the power of originality becomes crucial. Originality is not just about being different for the sake of being different. It's about being authentically you, showcasing your unique personality, your special traits, and your individuality. Originality is about taking a different path, not because it's less traveled, but because it's your path. Think of it this way. If you were to listen to the same song on repeat, no matter how much you loved it initially, over time, you'd grow tired of it. But if you were to discover a new song, one that's different, one that's unique, you'd be intrigued. You'd want to listen to it more. You'd want to explore it. That's the effect originality can have. It's about creating a sense of intrigue, a sense of curiosity, and a sense of excitement. It's about breaking away from the norm, stepping out of the box and showing her something she hasn't seen before. And remember, it's not about pretending or putting on a show. It's about being true to yourself, being genuine and being real. So dare to be different, dare to be original. Stand out from the crowd, not by being louder, but by being unique. Show her a different perspective, a fresh approach, a new way of looking at things. Remember, originality can be the secret ingredient to keeping her interest alive. So, let your originality shine and let it guide you in your pursuit. So, we've talked about familiarity and originality. But what about the balance between the two? Scarcity. It's a concept that's as old as time itself. In the world of economics, it's the basic principle that underlies the value of anything. The less there is of something, the more valuable it becomes. Now let's take this principle and apply it to the world of dating. Imagine you're a collector of rare stamps. You've seen thousands, maybe even millions of stamps. But then one day, you come across a stamp that's different. It's unique, it's rare, and that makes it incredibly valuable to you. The same principle applies in dating. When you're too readily available, too predictable, you become like those common stamps. 
Yes, you might be appreciated, but you're not valued in the same way as that rare, unique stamp. So, how do we create this sense of scarcity? No, it's not about playing games or being manipulative. It's about maintaining a healthy balance between showing interest and preserving your own sense of individuality and mystery. It's about being your own person with your own life, interests and passions. This balance can be a bit tricky to strike. Show too much interest and you risk becoming too familiar too soon. Show too little and you might come across as uninterested or aloof. The key is to show genuine interest, but also make it clear that you have a life outside of your pursuit. This creates a sense of intrigue, a sense of wanting to know more. But remember, scarcity alone is not enough. It must be paired with originality. Be that rare stamp that stands out from the rest. Be different, be unique, be you. This combination of scarcity and originality creates a powerful sense of attraction and interest. It's what makes you intriguing, it's what makes you valuable. Striking the right balance between scarcity and originality can make all the difference. So, keep this in mind as you navigate the world of dating. And as always, stay tuned for our next video where we'll delve into specific tactics that can make your pursuit more effective. So until then, keep being you, keep being original, and remember, scarcity is your friend. So we've delved into the reasons why women might lose interest in men that pursue them. We've explored the idea that becoming too familiar too soon can erase the enticing element of mystery. We've discussed the importance of originality, how it's crucial to set yourself apart from the pack and not merely echo the actions of others. We've also emphasized the need for balance, a sweet spot between scarcity and originality that keeps intrigue alive. These are not mere theories, but practical insights that can transform your approach and outcomes in the pursuit of meaningful relationships. Remember, retaining a sense of mystery, demonstrating originality, and striking a balance between the two could very well be your secret source to sustaining interest. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll discuss specific tactics that are more effective when pursuing women. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, keep the balance and stay original.